Hey everybody, my name's John. Welcome to Sugar Ship Games. Today we're going to run through a brief tutorial of how to get your airport to a point where you can start to customise it and expand. What I'd recommend the first thing you do is if you hit escape and get into gameplay settings, you'll see here there's a passengers per flight ratio. Put that up to 100%. This just means that every plane that comes in is going to bring in a realistic number of passengers. I wouldn't recommend changing this mid-game. If it's your first playthrough, maybe put it to 50%. But if you're comfortable with it 100%, start there and then we'll get into the gameplay itself. One of the things I mentioned in my quick fire tips, and if you haven't done that, I'll link it at the top, is to go through the introduction, it's going to tell you everything you need to know. So here, your building panels at the bottom, this is where you have all the different things that you're going to need for your airport. Uh, you'll also have your R&D panel, now if you hit tab, this will open up this field here. If you hit next, you've got your economy. And then you've got your main operations overview. Now this is where we're going to open the airport, Allow general aviation, which is passengerless flights, just as if you were hiring a plane. And then you've got all your additional options here. If you hit next, it's going to take you to your airport ratings, which is down the bottom. This isn't really relevant just now, but it's something that we'll get back to in a later video. Um, you can ignore the email from the manager in this uh, flight planner. We're not going to get into this today. I'm going to take you up to a point where you can start getting into commercial aviation. So we'll ignore this for this video as well. One, first things first, tutorial one, small airfield, just hit next and what to do, if you click on this blue checklist here, it's going to tell you what you need to do. So you need to have an operational contractor site and delivery site. Now these two things that you can see here are your contractor site and your delivery site. Next thing it's going to ask you to do is sign a contractor. So if you hit tab and then get into economy and then the far right hand side is offered contracts. And you can filter by and you're going to see contractors now this gives you a list of all the available contractors for now later on once the game's in beta and it's live i'd imagine it will start with only the one stars however if you're playing this before it goes properly live go for one of the four or five star ones the important information here is the maximum contractors and the hourly fee per contractors but if it's the first time let's just sign one let's get them on board once you've done that click operations and you'll see this orange button here that's construction and then click this deploy all and that's going to deploy all 161 available contractors that we have to the site and you're going to see them appear here just uh, it'll be a bus that comes up in a small uh, second once you hit start and the speed and you'll see them come up the first thing it's going to do after that is it's going to recommend that we wait to the contractors to arrive and then you'll have passed tutorial one just hit next and this is going to recommend that we start building a small airfield now at this point one of the things I said in my tutorial video was moving this, because this is right in the middle, or not in the middle, but it's relatively in the middle of your starting square. And I'd recommend you go to the left. It doesn't have to be far, just to get yourself off of this main road. And you can also set up your vehicle checkpoint as well. You see this rotating? If you press the R key, that will rotate an item. And if you press the E key, that rotates the map. I like to have the roadway at the bottom so that I'm always in the same orientation. If you zoom in on this, you'll see there's two different coloured icons. The one that's currently at the top, that's just the basic roadway. And the one that's the roadway with the spanner, that's your service roads. And you can see on the tab here that they match public road and service road, those icons match. So this is going to allow us to build the contractor site here and your drop off site for delivery here as well and you can go to the bulldozer tool and you can get rid of all of this you'll notice here that you can't remove this section of road that's hardwired into the game there's no way to move that all of these contractors will move here and that allows you to utilize this area for runways or anything that you want once you're into this point you're going to have to decide what kind of runway you want now you've only got access to the small runway. You can pick grass or you can pick asphalt. You have to decide really at this point, what kind of runway setup do you want? So if you if we'll just pause the game, I'll show you what you have the options of. You can have one runway. So the plane will land, it'll taxi around, there'll be stands here and then it takes off. And they can do that from the same runway. Your second option is to have two different runways. So you can have one runway here and you'll see the arrows, the directional arrows, that's the direction that they'll take off and land on. So you can have one here where they'll land and you can have one here where they'll take off. So they'll land on this runway 
they'll come off, they'll go down to some stands, they'll go down and they'll go into this runway to take off. Now that separates your landing and your takeoff traffic, which should, in theory, once you get the larger air traffic control towers, allow you more of a throughput. At the moment, you're limited to 25. Eventually, you can get up to 75 and then 200, but that's more with the medium and large runways. What I'm going to do is leave this. This is my favourite setup, the one runway for landing, and this allows me to do a one-way system. That's one of the other tips that I left on that other video. A one-way system is really good for stopping any bottlenecks and allowing you to kind of really quickly process through your planes. So I'll hit space, and you'll see these contractors in a wee second. Once the parts arrive, they're going to start building this. The next thing we need to do is get into the aircraft infrastructure tab and you want to go to this runway entrance and exit and you're going to pick this one which is the square one and if you zoom in you'll see that you have an option here which on the left is your access to the runway and on the right is a small plane and that means it's a taxiway so we're going to build two of these we're going to build one at the north side of your landing runway and we're going to build the second one at the south side of your takeoff runway next after this you see you've got an option for taxiway foundation. This is how the planes get around your airport. Now, you'll notice this is five across. That's for small aircraft. So you want to build a five by five square here. And once you've done that, do five across and then just pressing the W key to go up. Just run this run this taxiway all the way up until it's in line with this end exit here. And then just fill in this five by five gap. So now what you have here is your planes will land They'll come off the runway here, they'll come down, they'll hit one of your aircraft stands, they'll be serviced, they'll be turned around, they'll then come out, they'll go down here and they'll take off. And this is probably one of the most efficient ways that you can do this. After this um, taxiway is built, you have to do a taxiway path. Now this is the how the planes actually move around. You can't build on a square that's not been done yet. So I'd recommend waiting till the whole thing's done and what we'll do is we'll jump forward till that's done and I'll show you how you lay down the taxiway. Okay, so that's been built. So down to the bottom, aircraft infrastructure. You see this option here that says taxiway pathway. What we'll do is we'll zoom in now. You want to keep this in the middle. So you just go three across and then same again, press the mouse button, press W, that'll take you right up to the top and then press across here. And what you see is that actually basically fulfills the requirements for the starting. We need to place five small stands. Now, if you click on aircraft infrastructure again, and then you've got an option for aircraft stand and you want to pick the asphalt one. Now, you see here there's a roadway built into this, but there's no path currently to the taxiway. Now, you can go down here if you want. What I would recommend is you leave this area because we're going to need a fuel dump and a few other things in here. So what I would do is I would actually start from here now one stand is five squares so don't go here because you may want to extend this at one point scroll down so that you click that one and then you've got space here to expand your runway uh, sorry your taxiway so i'm going to go one two three four five six seven eight and we'll just skip forward till they're ready okay the five of those are built so let's now connect them see the taxi pathway you just have to connect these across like this and you'll see the icons disappear from these now when you get into the next part which is commercial aviation these actually have different options but we're going to ignore those for now the one thing we want to do just now is we want to get out our general uh, general aviation stands in so back down to aircraft infrastructure aircraft control tower small tower here i usually place this right next to the security booth because it's only two by two and it keeps it out of the way okay so you'll notice that once you've built the air traffic control tower it takes us to this first part of the tutorial being complete so now it's time to accept our first flight so if you click next you see on this drop down here we've got options to open the runway and open the airport so if you hit tab click on this airport control panel under operations there's an airport closed option. So we're going to click that to airport open. I'm going to click this to general aviation and then hit tab. And that's going to take you back to this main screen. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open the runway by left clicking on the runway and clicking open it up. 
Now, this setup is slightly different from normal. What I want you to do is click on the landing runway and here under operational mode, you want to click arrival only and then click open runway. And on this one, you want to click departure only and then click open runway. If you leave it on the land and take off, it's going to expect two entrances or exits, these things here, to be attached to each runway. But in doing this, you've specified that this is for landing only and this is for takeoff only. And we just have to wait for these five flights to land. So we'll skip forward till that's done. Okay, congratulations on completing part three. This is on, was on to part four where it talks about aircraft refueling. So just hit next, drag a service road and connect the vehicle checkpoint with your stands. Now just a quick tip when you're doing these service roads, if you click infrastructure and transportation and then the asphalt service road, you can, if you wish, do this and I'll just pause it. So you can run this down here. Now, the reason why I wouldn't recommend this is because let's say you wish to add in some more stands. You can't. You have to remove this. Now, in between the time of you removing this and rebuilding the stand, you might have a fuel truck up here or a baggage truck or a stair lift or anything up here. Now, when they're up there, and they want to get down here, they can't. So I would recommend removing this part of the roadway and running the roadway up here for now, just up the side. So you can do two if you wish. And what that will do is once you expand to eventually have stands all the way down here, you can actually remove this road and they'll utilize this for driving. But this is purely temporary, just until you get started. This will allow you to move your trucks around a lot more efficiently. Okay, so we need to place a vehicle depot next. So if you click on aircraft infrastructure, you have two options here. You can either pick a vehicle depot or you can pick a small vehicle parking lot. I'd recommend for starting, you just get the vehicle depot and I would place that, see it's up to yourself really, you can place it here or you can place it here. I would recommend to start with that you place it here and this just makes it a bit easier for them to get up and down because as soon as you come in here, you've got that turn. You don't want them coming in and out here and blocking this route. You also want to place a fuel dump. So under aircraft infrastructure, again, you'll see this orange option. Now, at the moment, we only have small AV gas, which is red. Once we get access to the, air, the jet fuel, that gives us a little black option there. So click on the small AV gas, which is red, and I would place that just next to it here in red. And we'll just skip forward till those are built. Okay, those are both built, excellent. So now if you click next, you're on to part five of the small airfield. I'm going to purchase an AV gas fuel truck. Now at the moment, we've only got, say what's that, seven or eight stands. So if you hit tab, go to vehicles, and this option here, the purple one is purchase. We've only got one option now, which is the Fjord fuel tank truck. So if you hit, just go for four, and then click order now, and they'll arrive in about 45 in-game minutes, which is quite quick on three speed. You'll see them arrive at the bottom, they'll go through the gate and they'll get into here. We also have to sign a contract because at the moment there's no one here to fuel this. You've got two ways to do this. You can either hit tab, go to economy and offer contracts, filter by and then aviation supplies. Or your easier option is click on the fuel depot and then you'll see an option for sign contract. When this opens up, you're going to see a list of fuel suppliers now on yours. It's probably all going to be fake. You can see here I've got things like Total BP, Shell. That's because I've downloaded a patch that gives me the real ones as well. I'm going to click on Shell. The important information that you want is here. Aviation gas is £1 per litre. Jet A1 fuel is 20 pence per litre. So if you sign that, that basically determines how much profit you're going to make. You see some of these other ones are 90 pence per litre and 20 pence per litre. So you can make a little bit more money, it just depends on what one you want. So we'll need to wait on the fuel truck arriving to fuel it. The fuel truck's currently going up and down, and the main tank is going to be empty again. Okay, so our main tank's full, and what you can see here is the 100% shows you that there's 30,000 litres in there. What I would suggest doing is changing this slider here. Now underneath it you can see it going up. I would recommend changing it to about 40%. What that means is that once this is down to 40% or less, of the available fuel it's going to bring in another truck to refill it and the reason for that is that you don't want to leave it down at 10 percent and then you end up with a truck that takes three uh, three thousand liters and then it doesn't fill up a truck at an airplane and then you end up having to wait for fuel 
40% for this I find is a good level. So we've done that, we need to hit tab now, go to operations and then the airport control panel and we have an option here for Av gas fuel service disabled. Just change that so that it's enabled, hit the cross and what you see now is some of these planes are actually going to start refueling. So we'll skip forward here, we'll just fast forward and you'll see the trucks being re uh, refueling the planes. Okay, so one of the trucks has just been called out here and it's going to refuel this plane here from Alliance Municipal Alliance Municipal Airport and that's the second plane being refuelled you can see what I mean here they'll just skip onto this side road and down so once we expand this we can take this side road away and we'll actually build a terminal down here long term okay that's us completed tutorial one tutorial two as you can see on the left hand side is actually going to build us up from a general aviation airport to a passenger airport which obviously you've downloaded the game this is the next thing that you want to get into I'm going to do a separate video on where we transition from this video into the passenger airport because we need to make a few tweaks, a few changes, but that's the sort of thing that's probably best shown in another video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment. Um, apologies for the bumbling kind of around. It's not as easy to make these as I thought it would be. If you've enjoyed the content, please check out some of my other videos. And if you've got any suggestions for me, please leave a comment down below. I read everything and it really makes my day when I see someone commenting and liking the videos. My name's John. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.